we chew it before we spit it out. <laughs> and yeah. what you get out of it is um, you're lucky if people understand what's going on. Right. Okay. The, I, I may sound cynical, but the truth of the matter is... Uh, no, it's difficult to understand um, and portray. It's just huge and complicated. My name is Susanna Durunen. Um, I work for the Finnish broadcasting company Wiley um, as their Brussels correspondent. And I've been here for about half a year, which is not long. Um, basically, we switch every four years. I'm not a routine person. Um, it varies a lot. Um, sometimes the politics happen in Brussels. Then I, you know, get up in the morning, go to the commission or to the council if there's a meeting, um, follow the their sessions and, and the press conferences and, and do the story. And if additional filming, for example, for television or interviews are required, then we just, you know, try to uh, get a hold of people and, and do those. Um, a lot of this work. Um, requires time outside of Brussels. We travel a lot. Uh, some of the meetings within the EU um, happen outside of the country because there is a rotating presidency, as you know. Um, and also some of the issues, you know, if, if it's about nuclear, if it's about energy, if it's about uh, farming, um, wine production, then we, especially for television, uh, it's important to go to the, the locations where you can get the footage, get the interviews and and, uh, and also partly because we need to um, we need to see or show another side of, of Brussels. It's it's not just the decisions and the, the, the piles of paper but what what it means in the real world, in real life reality for, for people who right. live in the EU. That varies too. It um, it depends what's going on. Let's say uh, if there's a normal news story, for example, um, energy paper, or um, that the the commission decides about something, or the the council decides on something. It's usually a story for both radio and television. Um, we have a problem with the time difference, which always sort of like pushes us to the limit if we can make it. The meetings tend to take time. The press conferences are, are later in the afternoon. And already local time, four o'clock, is the main radio broadcast in Finland. So that needs to be taken care of first. And then is the television's turn. So. After that, we start editing for television, and, and the main, so to speak, broadcasting is um, 7.30 local time. So, and in between, if something happens, you might be um, in direct for radio or for television, for earlier broadcasts, and uh, also if we have time, we try to serve, serve uh, online as well. But for that, we do get some help in Finland because there are people working behind the desks and they get the, some of the information through the wires mm -hmm. so um, it's basically impossible to do everything. I guess the starting point is to know who you work for mm -hmm. since we are a public broadcaster um, the issues should be of a variety of, of things but the, the starting point is always does it mean anything to Finland? That would be, to me at least, a number one. And for the company as well. Uh, another very important thing is, what does it mean to Europe? Because EU is sort of one connecting 27 member states. Basically, it's about 27 national politics put together. And um, let's say if, in farming, for example, Finland has a very big issue going on right now. We are trying to, um, well, Finland, not we, but Finland is trying to uh, maintain um, sort of
sort of a subsidy that was negotiated mm -hmm. before Finland ever entered EU. And now the the time has passed and we, Finland, should basically um, get rid of it. But it's very important for the farming um, and that's what they are negotiating with the commission to, to keep the, the subsidies. Um, but what other countries think might have Import. an effect. It, it's, it's a very complicated yeah, interconnected. Thing, but there's always yes, it's interconnected. Yeah. And that should always be. Um, you you should always be aware of that. Sources would be the most important thing. Mm -hmm. You have to be um, connected. You have to. You need sources beyond those who make decisions. Mm -hmm. Um, aides, uh, spokespersons. Um, you need a network, sort of. Uh, also, colleagues. It's easy to uh, switch information with a colleague who's not competing with your company. Right. There is no conflict of interest, and it benefits you. Um, if I do a favor for a colleague, let's say working for a newspaper um, somewhere in Europe. Um, I might get something in yeah, return, and at least for me, it's um, shown to be very fruitful. You need to be a fairly flexible person to do this. Yeah, it requires a lot. In every journalist who wishes to to get something done here, you need to be connected. You need a network. You, you would have to have an idea who to call first. Mm -hmm. If you hear something, um, what would be an example? Um, EU sending troops to a country. Like in five minutes you would just need to make some phone calls to, to verify it. Mm -hmm. Or at least to get an idea if it's true or not. Right. And um, it takes time to to know people uh, because it's very spread the community here as well people travel a lot right um, we meet daily maybe but it's very hectic you know you just say hello good morning bye and that's it but to, to really make relations that you have some use for it takes yeah, time to build that. Yeah. yeah. Basically, you can work as much as you want to. Yeah. Just be careful that you don't wear yourself up. Yeah. What's your favorite restaurant here? Oh, um, as it happens, that's one of the greatest things about Brussels. I've never had bad food here. Mm -hmm. There's a small Italian restaurant in our neighborhood, just a few blocks away. It's called De Mimo, and it's specialized in truffles, which oh, makes it uh -huh. uh, a bit expensive. But you can, you know, we can go there a couple of times a year. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's the great thing. Um, just a few blocks away from, from your house, you might have 20 excellent restaurants. And the prices are affordable. You don't have to go to, to downtown to the tourist area where the prices are double. Mm.